behind closed doors. I guess that announcing a pregnancy should be the most exciting time of your life. So much to look forward to, so much to come. But yet, 2020 was different. Covid, restrictions on partners in scans, restrictions on partners in antenatal appointments, restriction, restriction, yeah. I don't need to go into the ins and outs of the restrictions because you're probably all far too familiar, just like I was. But yeah, pregnant, expecting our second child and should be really happy. Instead, apprehensive, what world is this child going to grow up in? Will this child ever see someone's face? Will they only get familiar with a mask, a visor, gloves? Will they be able to sit in the trolley in a supermarket when they're old enough to? Will they be able to enjoy the playground like their older sister has? So many questions, so few answers. But still, we plodded through. We got to August and Remy Jack put in his appearance 11 days ahead of schedule and nine and a quarter pounds and a mop of ginger hair. We were smitten. But then, who could meet him? Could they meet him? Where would they meet him? Were they allowed to meet him? Could his own grandparents give him a cuddle? Could his own big sister give him a cuddle? So many more questions, so few answers. So many what ifs, what abouts, what is. We plodded through. He was here, he met one set of grandparents, waited a week and the other set came to meet him. But still, no interaction from other small people. Would he have friends? Would he know how to interact with other people? Would he know what to do if he saw another baby? How would he react if we, as parents, left the room? So many more questions, so few answers. We're now eight and a half months down the road. He's a very cheeky little boy. Loves his food, loves getting into mischief, loves to crawl, look at you. You tell him off, he giggles and smiles with dimples in his cheeks. We couldn't be happier. Yes, there's still a lot of people, including family locally he hasn't met. It took eight months to meet his cousins that live in London, but we did. They had fun, they smiled, they were confused, no masks, but they had fun and both got to see grandma and grandpa at the same time, even better. But yet, so many simple things taken from him. Play groups, but there are none. They're Zoom. Leads me wondering, what will his first words be? Zoom? No, your camera's not on. Poor connection. Mask. PPE. Hand sanitizer. Wash your hands and sing happy birthday. Will we be able to sing happy birthday to him come August? Will we be able to have people together? Won't we? Let's hope so. Restrictions are starting to ease. And yeah, the last eight and a half months of his life has been a roller coaster. Pregnancy, even more so, but we've made it, we've got through it, and we'll continue to get through it. What keeps us going? The cheeky little face that smiles and giggles and rarely sleeps.